One thing to keep in mind when you're planning your move to Grenada is the cost of food. In this video, we'll take a trip to Grenada's largest grocery, IGA. You can see what food options are found there and the typical cost of these items. Let's get started. Imported produce is expensive. As you may already know, all items imported to Grenada are heavily taxed. If you are working on a student budget, you'll probably rely on local fruits and vegetables and just purchase the occasional imported items when your favorites are out of season. Here are some price examples of standard fruits and vegetables. For staples like tomatoes, lettuce, carrots, and cucumbers, I purchase these items directly from the farmers. You can find local farmers selling their produce on campus and in the streets near campus. For pantry items, you can find both American branded imports, local and international brands. Like the cost of produce, these items can quickly add up. Here are some examples. In the butcher section, you'll find various meat options, though chicken is often hard to come by. Here are the standard prices of meat items. If you don't like to cook, you might be inclined to visit the frozen food aisle. Here are some options there. there's a wide selection of bread from local bakeries at a reasonable price. You can find bagels, couscous, flatbread, and instant yeast if you want to make your own bread. In the dairy aisle, you'll find a lot of U.S. and international branded cheese and yogurts. Everyone's favorite aisle, the snack aisle, you'll find Lay's chips and other U.S. favorites. I will make another video that I'll link here on some of Grenada's convenience stores. I buy snacks from these places instead of IGA. Finally, for home goods and toiletry items, here are some standard staples.
At the end of your trip to IGA, you will most likely find a long line to the cash register. Many students take advantage of IGA's grocery delivery program for an additional 5 EC. You can order food online and get it delivered to your door. If you prefer to shop in person, IGA is the last stop on the Grand Ants bus route. I hope you have found this video to be helpful for planning your time in Grenada. If you have any other questions, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer those for you. Thanks for watching.